Let's see. Tell a long time ago where Pokemon and human lives were still separate. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we got some walking. <laughs> Wandering around. Yo, freaking uh, Stantler? Stantler? Stantler have a beard? Stantler didn't have a beard. Okay, we got some uh, some other characters now. We got sleepy, yo. They're doing something other than standing around. Okay, okay. What is that? Growl. Regional form, I guess. I guess, uh... Sino Sinoan Growlithe? Oh, so it's, it's ride, ride Pokemon. That's a... Uh... Yo! Riding on the Stantler, let's go! Ride Pokemon back? The way it should have been? Okay, okay. Looking good. With the, the Sinoan Stantler. Okay! Arceus? Yo, Shadow Pokemon! <laughs> Shadow Pokemon? Holy crap, yo! Did a dog roll, so it looks like Pokemon trainers can take damage. Agile stuff. Yeah, I think they can attack the trainer. Fairy trees are back. Yo! <laughs> They're huge, those, uh, those shadow Pokemon are massive. The OST is sick. Actually. Not bad. That was the latest trailer for Legend of Aang. Legends Arceus. <laughs> yep, far better than anticipated facts. Let's take a closer look at some of the elements introduced in the video. Wow, I'm actually impressed. Honestly. Pokemon Legends Arceus is a brand new title that opens new doors for the Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG elements. Your adventure takes place in a region Yeah, the new forms look cool. During a long ago era when it was rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon. So no, no new new now Pokemon, Coronet but towers new forms. The center of the land, with yes, Sinoan forms. With strong, diverse, natural cool. environments surrounding the mountain <laughs> on all sides. These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems. In the future, this land of Hisui will okay, come we to got, be known uh, as the NPCs. Sinnoh region. You'll set out on an adventure with the goal of completing the first ever Pokedex for the Hisui region. Hisui region. 
The bustling Jubilee Village is the base for your adventures. It's home to the Galaxy Expedition Team, made up of people from various Ga other regions. Galaxy Expedition. The divisions such as the Medical Corps, the Security Corps, well, that's, uh, and freaking, uh... the Survey Corps, which researches Pokemon. Your fellow members. Professor of the Laventon's field of study is the ecology Laventon. of Pokemon. He came to the Hisui region along with Pokemon he met in various other regions. He entrusts one of these Pokemon to you. Captain Silene is the leader oh, of the, the five. Corps. Though she may seem to treat you Thanks, harshly, Vincent. deep down she's There's your biggest more work supporter. They could do a very good job. Got me interested. I think they should delay it. Yeah, so far Commander so good. Commander oversees the Honestly. entire galaxy team. He's a dependable leader who has earned the we got, we got rideable trust of Pokemon. his team members. When the commander recognizes you Pokemon doing something Pokemon other than research, walking around he allows you in the to wild. join the team and has you work as a member of the survey corps. That's something. The duty of the survey corps is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light on survey how they live. Survey corps, isn't that a survey duties hold the key on to unlocking the true purpose survey, of your survey adventure. Survey corps. And in the course <laughs> of your work, you'll visit various locations you within bench the outside Hisui the walls. region. <laughs> Your excursions outside the cool, village yeah. will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to okay, prepare you for your survey work by cool, buying cool. items or crafting new ones from basic materials. You can craft? Cool. They brought In the, the Hisui region, brought the you'll find that you'll be vulnerable from... to attacks from wild Pokemon. Oh. Take too much damage oh, from your yo. attacks, and you'll black out. So use caution when you're out oh, doing you black your survey out. work. Yeah, so you when actually get attacked hurt, by Pokemon. You can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. Once you've completed a survey assignment, cool. return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. Pokemon live all over the place. Get close to them and aim carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. You'll find that not all species of Pokemon react the same way when they spot you. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee, so you'll want to hide in tall grass when you approach them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. Throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon and a battle will begin. You'll find that a single Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row. Oh, wow. Depending on its speed stat and the moves that it uses. Wow, so they're changing the battle system. You can to have Pokemon use their moves in two different styles. Strong style and agile style. Okay. Using a move in the strong style will increase the move's damage, power, but yeah. the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Oh. Using a move in the agile style will decrease the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be raised. You'll find the strong style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move. While huh. the agile style is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give your battle strategy a real boost. Use hmm. these different styles as the situation demands to gain the upper hand. So, is that the battle. new gimmick? No, uh, Z moves or any crazy stuff like that? When you report the results of your survey work to the professor, information will be added to the Pokedex. You can advance your research and fill in more information by doing things okay. like catching Pokemon. Yeah, FPS looks better than the first show. Yeah, moves, yeah, it looks a lot better. Times and awesome. More. Seek out and meet lots of different Pokemon. Yeah, the changing battling. That's that that's innovation. Pokedex. That's straight up innovation. They're showing a lot more than I thought they would. Holy crap! The Pokemon living oh, in the rich natural Yo. environments that are spread out across the Hisui region. This Pokemon with distinctive antlers oh, wow. is known as Weirdeer. Weirdeer. Weirdeer evolves from a Stantler that has managed to live in the harsh Yo, natural Stantler evolution. of the region. Sick. It has strong ties with the local people, and it has been Yo. treated with great care and respect in this land since ancient yeah, Basculin. times. Basculin, that's, that's its name, Basculin. The first it might be a Basculin evolution. Weird tail and legs are highly prized as warm winter clothing. So a Stantler evolution. This Pokemon is Basculegion. It can swim with great power. Basculin that live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon Yo. if they become possessed by the restless souls Basculin of other Basculin evolution. in their school that have Regional evolutions. their journey upstream. 
This Pokemon Super cool. gains power from the souls possessing it, letting it swim so on there's and there's on straight, without straight up tiring. New Pokemon. There are also Pokemon that can be found living in this land in forms that have adapted to oh, okay, the environment so of the Hisui okay. region. As well, yeah. This Pokemon with its great majestic wings is the Hisuian form so it's of not, Braviary. This isn't Sinnoh? It comes to Hisui Anymore? in the winter and can imbue its screeches with psychic power to generate oh, so psychic waves. Type. This Pokemon, which works with a partner, a is the Hisuian form of Growlithe. It's not Sinnoh it yet. It is a very wary Pokemon oh, okay. and appears to protect its territory. Hisuian Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent insulator. <laughs> Growlithe looks hilarious. It's stay active and <laughs> it's lively good. even in this chilly land. <laughs> the horn on its head is made of rock, but it breaks easily. So oh, Hisuian rock part, Growlithe so. uses it only when it'll have the greatest effect. The Pokemon Arceus holds the key to this story. But what connection Arceus. does it have to your adventure? Arceus. We hope you we drop in to frames. finding out on the day when you can finally meet the people Yo, Teddy or so. of the Hisui region for yourself. I love the ride Pokemon. Love it. So simple. Beautiful. Legends looks way better. Arceus. Legends Arceus. Let's Just go through this. They showed way more than I was ever expecting. And what they showed was actually pretty good. Oh yeah, and the, the region, so it's not Sinnoh, it's actually the, whatever the new name is. I so yeah, it started off with just wandering around like, like what we've seen already a bunch of times. The music's really nice. A Clefairies with the full moon. Love it. Yeah, no, no two FPS Chinglin. So far so good, yeah, exactly. It's Cypher's great, great grandfather or grandmother. Can't quite tell. Okay, yeah, so we have Chimchar running, and he, like, leaves behind fire effects, which is pretty interesting. There's Chingling, not not too, f too FPS anymore. Okay, so this is super cool. This is what I was literally just talking about in my last video. <laughs> the, for them, they have sleeping animation assets for all the Pokemon, so why not use them? And then here they are, literally using them. So, awesome. Really happy to see that. Oh, did I say Cypher? It's... Oh, it's Cyrus. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> not not Cypher, Cyrus. Yeah, so this is super cool. So, And you can sneak up all the Pokemon, so the crouching animation serves a purpose. That's great. And it, it depends on, you know, which Pokemon you're trying to capture. You actually have to approach the situation completely differently, which is super cool. That's actually really cool. Being able to, like, like they changed the standard uh, way to catch Pokemon. Now it's it's different depending on the Pokemon, which is a really... Really unique innovation, honestly. I never even considered that. Considered changing that, so awesome. Love it. This area looks pretty cool. Oh, that's not very effective. Oh, is that a fire attack? Oh, use quick attack and it's not very effective. So the new Growlithe, it's either fire, rock, or just pure rock. And the UI looks pretty good. I like the UI. And the health is just over the Pokemon now. I think they showed that in the first trailer, though. I think. Actually, no, I think that's actually different. Okay, yeah, so it looked like this. So now the, uh, yeah, you guys can see that. Yeah. And so now the health and stuff is just over the opposing Pokemon themselves. And it shows the level now. Interesting change. They kept this. That's slightly darker now. A lot of changes, actually. Really cool. Game footage not final actually meant something for Pokemon this time. For real. Friday Pokemon! Let's go! So cool! This is so cool! So it looks like they brought Soaring back, I guess, technically. You can just fly wherever you want. And you get to ride on, like, new Pokemon and new Pokemon forms. Love it. Love it. Yeah, so Basculin's evolution. Completely new Pokemon. Oh, yeah, 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 the Shadow Pokemon, yes! Or, uh, I don't know what they'll be called, but basically Shadow Pokemon. Mmm, so it looks like they attack you first. Yeah, they attack you first, and you need to initiate the battle. And so, oh, and you can toggle which Pokemon comes first. You press X. So you don't need to open a menu, you can just press a button in the overworld to switch your Pokemon. Yeah, it's a nice little mix of action, of action and turn-based. That's so terrifying, yo. 
You have to dodge roll from the Earth Ring trying to bear hug you. <laughs> Yo, it's sick. And you throw the Pokemon and you start the battle. And that was Strong Style and then it Agile Style. So yeah, that's the new, I guess, the new gimmick for this game. Which I appreciate, you know, it's, it's subtle, it's not over the top, it's not bombastic, it's not in your face. It's just, it's, it's a nice addition. So I wonder if you capture the Shadow Pokemon, if you have to make it friendly again. Or how that how that works? Because then it, yeah, he just caught the luck. Oh, they're all here, so they're friendly now. So I'm wondering if you catch them and they become friendly, or if you have to de shadowify them somehow. Yeah, the the berry trees are back and they don't look like uh, <laughs> 2D JPEGs anymore, which is great, awesome. So Glasgow, you got Megmortar, and looks like the fire is actually coming out of his hand. Which is awesome. Well, Snorlax is not just randomly wandering around. You know, you got Snorlax the way we saw him in in the like the Game Boy games, the DS games. He's just sleeping, <laughs> which is actually never really thought about that. It's kind of criminal in like Sword and Shield. You have Snorlax walking around, but the way we always saw Snorlax in the overworld is just sleeping, just like this. So great, <laughs> proper return to form. The scaling of the Pokemon. Hmm. Uh, it, it seems to be all over the place, like, the, the Shadow Pokemon are very, very large. And the regular Pokemon, I'm not sure, they seem to be just how they always were. Like, I guess, like, the Snorlax here is kind of smallish. So, uh, I think the, the scaling's all over the place still. It looks very empty compared to Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I wonder what they'll have the player do. I guess you'll be able to collect stuff. And the, the areas, they all look very different from one another. Like, very distinct. Yeah, the Wurmple was big. Yeah, so it seems like the scaling is definitely all over the place still, unfortunately. This was a fun transition. The 2D animation. And then it transitions into the, the box art. Nice. This is what the whole game should look like, the, the 2D style. Yeah, so what, what would you guys think if the game looked like this? If it looked like this? I actually really like this. They just kind of, it's more like cell shaded, right? That would actually be a neat art style if they went with that, that kind of aesthetic. Mmm, so we have the map here. I didn't actually realize this the first time. Okay, so... The Hisui region. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's Sinnoh before Sinnoh, so it's called Hisui. Rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon. So maybe they'll, aside from... From the building the Pokedex, they'll they'll work on having people be less fearful of Pokemon, which is a really neat approach, actually. Like people are super scared of Pokemon, but you have this one trainer who's super brave and goes out, captures them, befriends them, and shows people that you can live alongside Pokemon. I like that idea for for a story. Something different. This is interesting, Laura. At what point did humans and Pokemon get so close? They married, and at what point did humans and Pokemon hit each other? Exactly, yeah, so I guess it's going to explore before humans and Pokemon were even as close as we see in every other game. Really neat narrative that they can play around with there. Jubilife, the Galaxy the Expedition. Jubilife. Yeah, the, the Survey Corps. <laughs> Wait, isn't that the... the... It's Weezing, isn't that the uh, Galarian Weezing? Yeah. Yeah, that's the Galarian wheezing. Huh. The Galarian wheezing. That's interesting. Corp. Captain Silene. I missed her name the first time. No overseas. This guy reminds me of someone. I can't quite figure out where, but he reminds me of someone for some reason. Rowan, yes! Yes, yes, Rowan. Yes, thank you. Yes, this, this, is, this is Rowan's great-great-grandfather. Embark on survey outings. Survey it looks like you'll be able to get side missions through the survey corps. ...is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure, and in the course of your work, you'll visit various locations within the Hisui region. Your excursions outside oh. the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from basic materials. 
I got crafting. Yeah, what do you need for the crafting? Okay, so I, I guess while you're out exploring, you can find various items to help craft stuff, which gives a reason for exploration. Aside from just capturing Pokemon. Mm, yeah, there's a different a different Pokeball here. Yeah, Heavy Ball. I guess that makes sense, yeah, because it's it's Apricorns, right? So we'll have Kurt's, Kurt's Pokeballs in the game. Except a, a, a retro version of it for each Pokeball. A ball that is too heavy to fly high or far. It is highly effective if you manage to hit an unsuspecting Pokemon. What's the verdict? Better or worse than Platinum? For BDSP, better or worse than Platinum? I do like follow Pokemon a lot, which Platinum didn't have. It's going to be another situation with Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire versus Emerald, and it's just going to be an endless debate. I see that. I think that's how it's going to go. So far, Platinum looks like it has the way better post game, but we don't know anything about the post game for BDSP. Maybe there'll be another island you can unlock that gives you the Battle Frontier. Pokemon actually attacking the trainer is not something I would have ever imagined in a Pokemon game. It's actually pretty intense. But the, tra the trainer themselves being at risk. You'll find that not all species of Pokemon react the same way when they spot you. For example- Not all species act the same way, that's- I love that because it adds more personality to the Pokemon as well. Yeah, so they, they changed this up a lot too, so you have an action order. And if you use the agile approach, you attack more than once. So it's not- it's not necessarily turn-based, or I, I guess it is, but it's not like- it's not a back-and-forth turn-based style. It's different. And I'm assuming that the maybe the Shadow Pokemon or even just the regular Wild Pokemon can use the different styles as well. So it just adds an additional layer of strategy to the battles. That moves can't use the stances. Oh, they can't? It looks like they can. Calm Mind, it looks like you can, you can toggle Calm Mind, no? It looks like you, you can, because it has the scroll as well. And I'm, I'm assuming there, there may be more styles as well that you unlock throughout the game. Maybe. We got Obsidian Fieldlands, no star member, research points, and you can rank up. So your your trainer, you can level up your trainer as well. So we got what? Number caught, number defeated. Okay, so you got a bunch of stats for a specific Pokemon. Number you've defeated with ground type moves. Num times you've seen it use quick attack. Oh, wow. Wow, these are very, very specific stats. Number of its... Number of its forms you've registered, and it shows, it shows two for Shinx. I don't know if it's referring to maybe male and female. If it treats male and female as different forms, yeah, yeah, male and female. Yeah, and this is just the basic, the basic uh, Pokedex stuff. But we have preferred foods, so maybe you can use that to lure, lure certain Pokemon. I like the Stanler evolution. I like it a lot, actually. And it has been yeah, I wonder how they'll do shiny Pokemon. In this land how that will be treated. Times. So maybe you have to like battle and like I, I wonder if you can only if you can only travel on the weird deer like on the land and you can only travel on this guy in the sky or if you can do it with multiple Pokemon. They're confirming types on the Pokemon website. Oh really? Okay, we can check that out as well. Actually, Arceus. Yeah. Right, let's see what type this thing is. Just water. Water ghost. What are ghosts? Yeah, it's huge. Big, big fish Pokemon, yeah. Uh, this thing is normal? Normal psychic. Hmm. Okay, this thing's rock. Fire rock, okay. And this guy is just flying psychic. Yeah. That's a mini Lugia. You thought it was ice? Yeah, I thought, yeah, Stanler or Weirdier, I thought it, yeah, it'd be either normal or maybe normal ice. I don't think we've had a normal ice type. Well, that's uh, unfortunate. I don't think we've had a normal ice type before, so that's that's a missed opportunity. The Suian Arcanine will look really cool. They didn't show him yet, though. As far as they made that psychic type, <laughs> looks so funny. Pokemon and appears to protect its territory. <laughs> Best boy. I wonder if Palkia or Dialga or even Giratina will have any part to play. No mention of them yet. But it breaks uh. easily. Yo, that's Rock Slide! Rock Slide animation! Made of rock, but it breaks easily. So he and cool. uses it. Because it opened up the portal. This reminds me of kind of the the Ultra portals or Ultra wormholes in the Sun and Moon series. That's that's what it reminds me of. The Ultra wormholes. 
And you have the different colors here. I'm not sure what that symbolizes. Hmm. And that's it. So all in all, it was a really great Pokemon Direct. All in all, really loved what they showed. You can change your outfit. I don't know if you can change it in Legends. I didn't see. I didn't see them change it in Legends at all. Great. And so why why is Arceus attacking attacking using like Thunderbolt on the Do tree? The I don't know if there's any Sinnoh lore I'm I'm forgetting about here. There was a Growlithe themed outfit. Really? You, you got the timestamp. You can change your hair at least. There's a shot of a barber shop. Really? I must have missed that. What's on the website? Oh, so they showed a bunch of stuff on the website that they didn't show in the direct? That's odd. Mmm! Yeah, here we go. I don't think they showed this in the trailer. That's bizarre. But yeah. Yeah, customizable clothes. So, the Hisuian Growlithe Kamino set will be gifted to those who pre-order Legend of Arceus. You can receive it by choosing Get Via Internet. So, the mystery gift is back. Confirmed. Oh, yeah, there it is. Good eye, yeah. There it is. Or maybe... It could also be for Pokemon, because there's two of them. So maybe one, one for people, one for Pokemon. Like how, how you could change a Furfru. Skin to Growlithe alive for the drip. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right? Savages. Can't really read this. Can't read this at all. The terrible font color choice. This is a nice way to introduce like side quests and stuff using Survey Corpse. Oh, we have the, the main characters' names. I don't know if that's if we knew that already. But uh, Akari and Ray. This text is so bad. Hold up. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm assuming, since it has Pokemon Home connectivity, I'm assuming you, you can take your guys from Sword and Shield and then put them in Home and then transfer them to this game, I guess. You can't name the trainers. Um, you'll join the Galaxy team, so you're technically joining uh, Team Galactic in a sense. Although I don't believe they're evil in this timeline, but joining as a team, yeah. So we're not we're not doing the whole Pokemon League thing. So this is really refreshing, honestly. This is completely different. Yeah, it show, it seems very promising to be yeah a, a story heavy focused game. That's what it's looking like right now. So old school Juby life, love it. Oh yeah, they mentioned it right here. Yeah, Professor Rowan. There are other people in this game who might also be ancestors to familiar faces. So Cynthia's ancestor. I wonder what Cynthia's ancestor looks like. Or maybe all the gym leaders where they will be. Like maybe uh, one of the gym leaders like cuts your hair. <laughs> Another gym leader is like a, the owner of the, the clothing store. <laughs> they can do so many fun little things like that with this game. Legends is the only game you're hyped for. But I'm a lot more excited for Legends Arceus for sure overall. You know, you got riding Pokemon, you got Pokemon in the overworld, aren't just drones that wander around. Depending on the Pokemon, they react differently to you, which uh, breathes personality and life into the Pokemon. That also has the effect of changing up the gameplay. So the gameplay just isn't straightforward doing the same monotonous thing over and over. It, it changes depending on the Pokemon. And they, they do other things, like they, they sleep. We saw some sleeping animations in there, so a lot of really great changes. So all in all, a really great, really great Pokemon Presents, Pokemon Direct.